A local father who visits his son's grave every day is locked in a legal battle because of the memorial he designed at Kent Cemetery. The father says he is honoring his son who served in the Navy, but the cemetery says he broke the rules. Bob Jones is live on 5 in Kent tonight. And Bob, this is certainly a grave site that will catch your eye. Well, Lee, you will find it in the back of Standing Rock Cemetery, and it takes up five plots. It is also the final resting spot of Adam Mulai, who was a petty officer in the U.S. Navy and died in a river rafting accident in California back in 2011. Last May, his father put up two giant pictures of Adam, but some have complained, and the cemetery wants them taken down. This is for my son. Every day, Fred Molai comes to the cemetery, kisses Adam's headstone, and talks to his son, who served his country. Fred never misses a day. So far, I've been here 968 days in a row. Fred feels his son, a Navy technician who worked on F-18 fighter planes, deserves a big and beautiful memorial. So on top of all of the silk flowers, he added these two huge pictures of Adam on wooden poles. When you include the lights and the American flags, each is about 10 feet tall. I cannot have a limit for love that I got for my son. This is what I like to do, and I, to be quite honest with you, I don't think even this is enough. But other plot owners complained, some saying the big posters blocked the view of other stones. The cemetery told Fred he broke rules and regulations. They want me to take the pictures down, and I'm not going to do that. The rules state the cemetery has the authority to reject any memorial on account of its size, type, and other factors. But Fred says he asked if there was a height limit and was told no. They don't have any clue what kind of pain I go through every day. I'm here grieving every day, and they're coming here to tell me that i got to take my son's picture down. Fred got an attorney and a court order preventing the cemetery from taking down the pictures for now. The Ohio Cemetery Dispute Resolution Commission will now handle the dispute. If Fred loses there, he will keep fighting to keep the memorial, as it is, for his son. And if I have to appeal the case, take it to further court, I will do that as well. The Kent Law Department, which represents the cemetery, says it cannot comment on this story because of pending litigation. But in a letter, the Board of Trustees for the cemetery appeared to offer a compromise. They asked Fred to lower the pictures so that they didn't tower over the headstones. Fred has refused to do that and says this memorial should remain as it is. Live on 5 in Kent, Bob Jones.